Hello, this is the aquarium from Valencia. I love water documentaries. I'm a big David Attenborough nerd, so very excited to go here. Some first impressions of the park. Everything looks really cool. The Northern Seas, basically the cold North Pole. There's two belugas here. I think there's a total of three. Here's a separate specimen. If you stand where I'm standing right now, you'll just keep see seeing them swimming around. The confinement is not very big, so they kind of have to go in circles. Uh, you can see them really well. I didn't expect to see them here. That's pretty cool. Penguins, of course, with a North Pole. There's also a South Pole. And the penguins are really cool because you can see them both above and under the ground. They did that really well. Again, the confinement is a little bit small, but maybe that's just my opinion. It's nice to interact with them. They really react on you. Which movie does this fish remind you of? <laughs> For the lovers from Indoor Aquaria, there's quite a few different options. Uh, they have sea anemones, they have clownfish, there's loads of fish. I really like those smaller aquaria. And even the bigger ones like this one also have loads of variety. Um, here's another one where you see like even smaller colorful fish. I think I was standing there for like about 15 minutes just watching and enjoying all these different aquaria. It's just so calming. I think this is a frogfish, but I might be wrong. Any suggestions? Uh, yeah, what, what is this? Ah, uh, can you see him in the right little corner? What a cutie. So all around the park, you will see different ecosystems that they've created to represent different parts of the world. It seems our friend is having a bit of a hard time to get on the rocks, I wonder. Oh, he's going to another spot. Let's see if this works out. Or maybe it's actually a female or just a youngster. Hooray! I mean, the coolest part must be the ones where you see the stingrays and the shark. Uh, I don't think many parks have sharks. Sharks normally don't survive too long, especially the bigger they get in parks. So uh, it's kind of cool that they have them. I hope they take really good care of them. This is also a cool part. There's different kind of birds. Uh, two that you'll see most are those orange red ones, which is called the Scarlet Ibis. It's actually the national bird from Trinidad. And the Spoonbill. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Let me also give some practical information on the park. But before I do that, here are some more of the beautiful animals that we saw along the way. I really like this little turtle trying to enter and uh, get on the wood. Um, please consider commenting, liking, subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. For example, uh, let me know what you think about this jellyfish. Wow. Yeah, I thought he was stunning. So despite being the biggest park in Europe, I don't think the park is massive. So don't expect to be blown away. There's definitely some good bits and pieces there. And I think anybody who likes fish will have a good time. I think without kids, you'll probably walk through in two and a half hours, I would say. Oh, just been at the aquarium. It was nice, it was a good time. It's a bit pricey for what it is. And I, don't, I didn't see any crocodiles. So um, I think they were sleeping. Uh, the dolphins gave me a bit of a bad feeling. It it doesn't seem off this time anymore that uh, people are letting dolphins do games. I just felt a bit bad about that, but it's nice if you like sea animals. Would I call this a must see? Probably not, but it's a good time. It's rate this is six and a half, seven out of ten. So where do you want me to go next? I have seen a lot of Europe and Asia is next, but any suggestions are welcome. Comment below where you want me to go and why it's a good place and what's fun to do there. And maybe you'll see me there in the next video. Bye.